Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a new user account in your Mac operating system. So let's say you want to create a new user account for your friend or your family member. How you can uh, create a new user account on Mac? Let's see. So for this, you need to click on the system settings option. You can see this icon for system settings. So click on the system settings icon. You can also open system settings in using this Apple logo and then click on system settings here. Now in this list, what you need to do is you need to scroll down and click on the on the option where you see users and groups. OK, so you can see uh, this users and group and on the right hand side, I can see uh, my uh, username and I am an admin of this MacBook, right? So I can add account or remove account uh, from this Mac operating system. Now, you might have guessed it uh, by now that in order to add a new user account, you need to click on add account option. So I'm going to click on add account and then I need to provide the password for my Mac operating system, which I use to log into my Mac operating system and then click on unlock which is going to show you this kind of window. Here you can uh, create a new user account. Now new user account can be of different types. So you can see administrator, standard and sharing only and group, right? So administrator is the user which have administrator privileges. He have the root access to your Mac operating system. He can create user, delete user, and give accesses right standard user is the user which can use the Mac operating system but he doesn't have administrative privileges like creating a new user sharing only is the option where you want to share some uh, files uh, with uh, others then you can use this option and then there is this group access so if you want to allow the same access to different a group of people then you can use this option for now we are going to create a standard user let's say I want to just create a login account for my friend which just want to use it for a few days right then you just need to give the full name of your friend so let's give the full username for the new account I'm going to name it as let's say user 2 then the account name will be taken from your username. It's uh, the smaller case and without uh, spaces, right? So you, when you write user2, it'll uh, give you the account name user2 without spaces and everything in, in small. You can even change uh, this uh, account name if you want any different uh, username, right? For example, my user, okay? And then you can give the password for that account. So I'm going to set the password and then I'm going to verify the password. And then I'm going to provide any hint. So I can just write hint here. You can uh, write the hint which will help you to remember the password, right? Once you are done, click on uh, create user, which is going to create that new user account on your Mac operating system. So here is the second user account. And then if you want, you can change uh, the profile picture or other properties of that user. So once the new user account is created, uh, you can click on this info icon in front of the user. And then you can reset the password of that user. You can delete that account if you want to remove it permanently or you can make that user an administrator of this computer, right? So when you check this checkbox, uh, you will make this user as the administrator, right? So these are a few things you can change after creating the user. Once you are happy, click on done. And then once you log out of your Mac operating system, so you can just uh, click on log out from your username. From the next time, you will be able to log in with two uh, user accounts. One is your account and one is the other account which you have created. So you can give that access to the colleague or friend 
and he can use your Mac operating system uh, without uh, accessing the admin privileged uh, resources, right? So this is how you can create a new user account on your Mac operating system. I hope you've enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video.